Hi, I'm Cameron McKenzie. I'm the editor-in-chief over at theserverside.com. You can follow me over on Twitter. Please do. Cameron at MCNZ. And I want to talk to you about the differences between JBoss and Wildfly. And the fact of the matter is, there's really not a huge number of differences. I mean, there's more similarities between the two than there are differences, right? They're both open source. They're both Java-based. They both provide Jakarta EE compatibility. They're both community supported. They're both widely adopted. They're both Red Hat, Red Hat projects. Um, so what's the difference? Well, the, the difference is this. Wildfly is the open source project, community-based project that people contribute to, to build JBoss EAP, essentially. It's the open source project. It's all the where all the code contributions go. JBoss EAP, what you know people typically think of as JBoss, you know, that's the commercially supported server by Red Hat. That's the one that you pay for if you go with that subscription-based model and you know you get support from, from Red Hat for your application server. But JBoss EAP, the, app, the commercially supported application server, is just built from Wildfly. Wildfly is essentially a testing ground for JBoss EAP. Maybe you can think of it as an incubator for new features. But JBoss is just built from Wildfly. Now, part of the confusion over this is the fact that previously, JBoss EAP was built from a project called JBoss AS. EAP stands for Enterprise Application Platform. AS just stands for Application Server. Now, JBoss AS and JBoss EAP are so similar in names that differentiating between them was a pain. So after version 7 of JBoss AS, Red Hat just said, look, we're calling it Wildfly. We're not calling it JBoss AS anymore. There's going to be Wildfly, which is JBoss AS. There's going to be Wildfly, and there's going to be JBoss EAP. There won't be any JBoss AS anymore. So Wildfly is just the, the renaming, the rebranding of the old JBoss AS project. And you know, to proof of that, the last version of JBoss AS, the last full increment was version seven. The first full increment of Wildfly was version eight. You know, they were just saying, hey, Wildfly is picking up from where JBoss AS left off. So, you know, that's the, the key difference. So as you can imagine, there's more similarities between them than there are differences. They're both supported by Red Hat. They're both JBoss projects. They both are written in Java, the same language. They both actually have an LG, uh, a lesser new uh, license to them. So they have the same license. You know, but the big difference is you're not getting commercial support from for Wildfly from JBoss. You have to go with a JBoss application server. Um, I think there's some minor details with support for micro profile. I think Wildfly is micro profile support out of the box, whereas JBoss application server, it's a, a, an extension pack you have to add on. But just working with the tools, I mean, that was the only major thing I could find. But uh, yeah, but that's about it. You know, for the most part, uh, you know, Wildfly and JBoss, they're more similar than they are different. Wildfly is basically the open source project that we work on and incubate new features. Whereas when everything's good and we want to push out a, a brand new release with all of the features tested and verified and then provide commercial support for it, well, that product produced by Red Hat is JBoss EAP or what we kind of now just you know colloquially think of as JBoss. There you go. If you want to learn more, head over to theserverside.com and please follow me on Twitter at CameronMCNZ.